Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Cheat Engine so that you can use cheats in Pal World. We're gonna go over God Mode, Hunger, Item Duplication, Gold, and changing our stats. So first things first, we're gonna open Cheat Engine and we're gonna attach it to Pal World. And the first cheat we're gonna do is our Hunger. So the way that this game stores the Hunger value is as a float. So we're gonna scan for 97, which is what our hunger is at. And then when it changes to 96, we're gonna scan for 96. And you can see here, this one value that's changing, it's 96.0. This value does round up to the highest whole number. So when it gets below 95.5, this will update. There it goes. That is our hunger address. And we'll just set it to 100. Next, we're gonna give ourselves infinite health. So our health here is 500. So we need to scan for the value of 500. So the way that this game handles your health value, it's stored as a four byte value type and you take whatever your health is and you multiply it by a thousand. So we're gonna scan for 500 times a thousand or 500,000. Now we're gonna get in combat just so that we could lose some health. And our health is now 470. So we're gonna look at any value here that looks like 470,000. So 478,000, 478,000. So these two are potentially our health address. So one of these is the right one. We're just gonna change one of them to 500,000. That seems to have worked. So we can just freeze it and call this one health and delete the other one. Next, we're gonna do a really easy item duplication cheat. The way this game handles items and inventory is that it stores the item count in this item slot. So all we have to do is cheat for one item slot and then we can just drop any item into that item slot and it's gonna duplicate it. So we have four stone. We're gonna look for the number four. Scan for four. We're gonna drop one stone. Scan for three drop another stone, scan for two, drop another stone. We'll scan for one. And it's gonna be one of these three addresses. So we'll just change one of them to 10, close the inventory and open it again so that it updates. That wasn't it. Okay, so it was the third one and we can just call this inventory slot number one and we can freeze it and we can set it to something like 100. And now you can see we have 100 stone. So if we take this item out of this slot and put wood in this slot, it's gonna give us 100 wood. We can do that with the chicken, we can do that with the egg, and now we can just very easily keep duplicating our items like this. So now that we have access to unlimited resources, we can get to start building. And before we do that, we might just want to give ourselves unlimited technology points so we can unlock all the recipes. So we see here we have six technology points, scan for six, use one, scan for five, use one, scan for four, use one, scan for three, and we're left with these two values. We're just gonna randomly check them to see if one of these two are the ones that we would need. So we found it and we'll just call this one technology points and we'll freeze it at 25. And we'll go ahead and build. So look how long it's taking to build something right now. After we get a couple of levels, we'll get some stat points and we'll be able to cheat our stats and then building will be pretty much instant. So now that we have infinite pal spheres, we can just go catch a bunch of them and that will give us some XP to level up. Okay, so now that we've leveled up a bit, we have four stat points. We're gonna scan for the value of four. We're going to spend one stat point, scan for three, spend one stat point, scan for two, spend one stat point, and then scan for one. And now we have a few addresses left. And one of these is responsible for our stat points. We're gonna change one, go back into our menu. That wasn't it. We'll change the other one. 
and that was it. So we have 10 stat points now. And we can just delete the other ones, name this one stat points, and we can set it to something like a thousand. Now we have a thousand stat points. And we can go ahead and give ourselves a ton of HP so that we can't get killed in one shot. And we'll give ourselves a ton of stamina. And when you give yourself a ton of stamina like this, it bypasses the need for even doing a stamina cheat when you have such high stamina it's like having infinite anyway we'll add a whole bunch of weight and lastly we'll give ourselves a crazy high amount of work speed the higher you go the faster your building will be and i'll show you what that looks like in a second so here we're going to build a wooden chest and you can see i built it instantly And now that we have a base, we can talk to this wandering merchant, which gives us a need for changing how much gold we have. So right now I have zero gold. I'm just going to go and sell these items. So now I have 30 gold. So we're going to scan for the value of 30, sell some more items. Now I have 80. Scan for 80, sell some more items. Now I have 90 and we have a few addresses left. So we'll change one of these to a thousand. And we'll just sell one item to see if it updates. It still says 91, so that wasn't it. We'll try the next one. Set it to 1,000. Sell one item. Update it to 92. That was not it. We'll change the next one to 1,000. You can see it's already updated. We have 1,001 gold. So we'll just go and change this to 999, 999. And we'll call it gold. And we'll freeze it at 999.99. Now we can go to the buy menu and just buy whatever we want now. And realistically, we only need to buy one of each item because we can just use our inventory slot duplication trick to give ourselves however many of that item that we want. So now you can see we have infinite health, infinite hunger, infinite money, infinite items infinite stat points and infinite technology points. And we are now free to go mess around and do whatever we want. If this video helped you, remember to press the like button and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you in another video. Peace.